What's up, witches? I'm Ivy Rose, and welcome to my channel, Ivy Rose Grows, Grows Wild. Okay, so if you're new here, this channel is all about my witchy journey. Um, I do a lot of witchy subscri subscription unboxings, tarot readings. In fact, that's what we're doing now. So this reading is for the collective. For anybody that came across this video, this video is for you. So sit down and listen. All right. So let's go ahead and get ready. I want you to just close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Okay, so we're in uh, mid-March 2023. Okay, y'all. So uh, this reading is for the collective. For anyone that has came across this video, you feel a calling to listen to it. There is a message in here for you. Okay. All right, Spirit, where are we going this month of March? Where are we going? All right. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. All right. Oh, I seen one flip in it. Oh, shit, we got a lot of flyers. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what was the one that flips over. Oh, there was three. Okay, y'all. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's some type of new beginning, new relationship, new romance. Something is being offered. Some type of new beginning. Maybe a relationship. Next, we have the full. So, here's another new beginning card. Um, wow. To take the leap of faith, I'm hearing. Um, there may be some travel involved for some of you. And next, I have the hangman. I was just about to say, some of y'all may be struggling with a lack of commitment around something. And then the hangman um, is right after it. And that's like feeling trapped uh self-limiting feeling confined so you're it's like you're you're being offered this new beginning of something either a such opportunity or a new relationship and you're wanting to take the leap of faith but at the same time you're struggling with your lack of commitment and it's causing you to feel trapped and feel confined and you're self-limiting yourself you, what you re really need to do is do like release and let go of whatever is holding you back from this new beginning. Okay. So, okay. Underneath the deck, we have the Empress. She's divine feminine energy, um, pregnancy, fertility, motherhood. So something is in the work. Something is growing within the womb. Okay. There's new a new beginning of something stirring up. Okay, y'all. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have the strength card, inner strength. All right, so you need to find the strength within <clears throat> to um, pull yourself out of feeling trapped and self limiting. Um, pull yourself out of the self doubt. Um, remember, you are confident, you are brave, like you possess these qualities to continue with the to go on any to go further with this new beginning okay um i'm here and trust your intuition with the moon card you may be having a lot of anxiety and fear right now um and it's causing some instability but i'm here and just keep dreaming okay just keep dreaming you know what you deserve trust your you know what you want just trust your intuition okay y'all um, next I have the Knight of Wands. Um, that's passion, hasty, um, quick decisions. Maybe a sexual adventure is around the corner for some of you. Um, you may be involved with somebody that loves a challenge. Someone who is a negotiator, competitive, a sportsman. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what else. Okay, so yeah, right after that is a partnership. Um, the Two of Cups, that's like 
partnership, unity, love, a happy couple, potential soulmate, relationship. Yeah, there's there may be a potential relationship right around the corner that wants to come in. Okay, um, I got the queen, the queen of swords reverse, and that's like gossiping, um, lies, misery, someone who puts people down and can't be trusted. Yeah, you may be dealing with a female, I don't want to say genders, but maybe someone who has more of a feminine personality, um, who's gossiping and talking shit about you. <sighs> Let's see what we need to do about this. Um, okay, the devil reversed. Right now you're struggling struggling with a lack of um, perspe perspective. And what you want and what is happening is clashing for you. And it's causing an imbalance. And it's making you want to self-indulge in some things in life. I don't know. It could be food. I'm hearing food. Um, maybe some spending a lot of money and I don't know if it has anything to do with you dealing with this female feminine energy who is gossiping and talking major shit about you. And that's why you're like self-indulging. You're having an imbalance. It's kind of making you feel a little crazy and reckless. Okay. Let's see what else spirit. What else do you have? What else do you have for us, Spirit, regarding the situation this month of March? Okay. Wow, we got like a whole fucking novel. Okay, let's see. Okay, balance. Okay, we was we just got the devil card and that is in balance and there's some imbalance going on in your life right now. And here we got it. Here we got is the two of pentacles, and that is the card of balance. So you're you're needing to want you're needing to find balance in your life. Like seriously, um, you have the resources to maintain balance to find the balance. Yeah, life has its ups and downs, and you are you are able to adapt and be flexible with it. Um, you may be juggling life, juggling money situations, um, maybe even transferring money like from one person to you or from you to another person type of situation, um, profit and loss, um, a fine, you're, okay, some of you may be dealing with a financial decision, financial, that, you may be dealing with a financial decision that is causing you some financial stress, okay? Um, there is going to be somebody that will be able to help you around this situation. But you ha you really do have the resources within and without to find the balance in your life, okay? <clears throat> Next, we have the Four of Swords. And that's the card of, like, rest. And after, I I'm hearing, like, after this serious imbalance with this one this feminine energy that is like talking this major shit about you and you having to go through some something that is really stressful um that has to do with your money so it could be somebody around in a job but you're being called right now to rest and relax and to maybe meditate to find the peace and quiet the sanctu sanctuary within um, to do some regrouping, some hot, some healing. I'm hearing that if some of you may need to take like a, like a hospitalization because you're really mentally struggling, you, um, really should do that if you're being called to do that. Um, you're, I hear that you're, be, you're feeling really overwhelmed and it's a mental overload, overload with what you're having to deal with. But right now you need the, you need the solitude. Okay. And like, Here's the Ten of Cups. That is the card of like happiness, marriage, family, happy families, homecoming, family gatherings. Yeah, so you're needing to get some rest because there's some kind of family gathering that's going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, and it will have to do with your surrounding your stability, your security, and your abundance. Also, your children. Okay. Okay, so here is the Ten of Wands, I mean Ten of Swords, 
um, reverse. So that's like escaping ruin, pulling yourself together, learning from the past hardships, feeling true to yourself. Okay. I'm feeling like some of you are running from this financial job stressful situation but you're pulling yourself together you are pulling yourself together you are you are literally learning from your past mistakes and not everybody is aware of themselves and what the, where they've been and where they're going to acknowledge that and you are and that's such a great thing but you know i'm hearing like Keep the positive thoughts because you don't want to draw your fears of your fears of coming true. Okay. Here's the page of pentacles. There may be some bad news coming in around your earthly matters. Um, or some ignorance around your earthly matters. There's someone that may be around you who doesn't appreciate you. That may be the issue. There may be somebody that just does not appreciate what the value that you bring. Yeah, four of um, wands reversed. So that's like an unhappy family, um, postponed, canceled reunion, leaving home type situation. So... I'm feeling like some of you may have been in a situation where you left somebody who did not appreciate you, who did not see the value that you brought into um, the relationship, and it caused the family to be unhappy, okay? And some of y'all chose to leave home. And there was a lot of indecisiveness, a lot of self-doubt with this judgment reverse card. Um, and almost an unwillingness to learn from the karmic lessons. But you are you are learning from your past. Um, you are now learning from your past hardships, where you've been in life and the decisions that you make and how it affects everybody. So yeah, here with the four of uh, Pentacles reverse, you're shedding the old. You're letting go of people that no longer served you. That's why you left home because you saw that they weren't valuing you. Um, I'm seeing that some of y'all are, are, even left some of your possessions at home when you left, but that's fine. You can get new. Um People are, you have some generous people around you that are willing to share. Okay. Um, with, this is the six of cups. This is um, returning to one's roots. Um, nostalgia, innocence, being creative. Yeah, okay. Sharing gifts. So family support. So yeah, right after this four of pentacles that we got that um, there was some generosity and sharing going around and with this six of cups um right after i'm hearing that there's some family support that's willing to help you that's willing to share and give you some some type of gift that is um gonna bring you to your root that's gonna bring you to your roots i'm hearing some of you here's a card that's look it's peeking out of the deck um i'm hearing some of you may be returning to an old family home Okay, here's the page of cups. Um, that's intuition, um, love, comfort, kindness. Um, this okay. The things that family wants to give you, it is a good idea. Okay. And it is, it is your family doing this is a cup of love. It's a cup of kindness that you probably didn't receive from them before. Oh my gosh, I see another peeker card. Look, y'all, look. Okay, this is the two of wands, and that is the choice card. You have a choice between two paths, um, two decisions, two options. Um, you're planning something that will bring you to the grass that is greener on the other side. Um Some of you did suddenly leave home. 
and may and I'm feeling like some not all may be still in the mindset of deciding uh, deciding to stay or go and you're feeling detached rest, le restless and maybe withdrawn right now <clears throat> okay spirit let's see if we have any more okay there's no more what else do you have for us okay that is the seven of swords making a break for it so you most definitely you okay if you're in that um mindset of deciding whether you're still gonna stay or go you are definitely making a break for it because you're so tired of the deceit lies trickery um maybe some theft even and dangerous risky behavior um yeah maybe even a friend that's masquerading uh maybe even someone that's masquerading as a friend okay you're make you will make a break for it and you're heading right towards the um six of pentacles right towards gift generosity charity donations money support sharing kindness well see everybody's around you to help you you have you have people around you that are willing to be generous and help you get um, where you want to go to help you create a foundation. Okay. You're going to be fine. Yeah, you're, you're heading right towards success and victory with this uh, six of... Um, wands, which is success, victory, winning. And we just pulled like... Let's see, two sixes. You really have the advantage in this situation. And there are people around you that are literally supporting, wanting to support you. Okay? You're a lot stronger than you think. A lot stronger than you think. Any more spirit? Ace of Pentacles. I know that you're struggling with this lack of money and um, you feel like you have a lack of opportunities, but you really don't. Okay, just get control of your finances. That's what I'm hearing. Get control of your finances. And we got the five of pentacles because you don't like, you don't want your hasty behavior to cause an imbalance in your financial decisions and spending a lot because it will lead to a financial temporary hardship, okay? So get that under control. Get your spending un under control. Remember earlier we said that there was an imbalance and there may be a lot of self-indulgence and I felt like I was here in food. You may be eating out a lot and you're spending too much money, okay? It. I'm hearing you, it's going to lead you to a little temporary hardship if you continue down this path. The two of swords, it's a decision. You're sitting on the fence. You're at a crossroad. I know it, you're going through a difficult decision about something right now. But right now, you are facing your fears. You need to face your fears, okay? Some of you are being torn between two relationships. Okay. The world in reverse. Um... You're literally putting yourself out of, um, you keep putting yourself sitting on that fence and it's causing, it's causing you to have a lack of success. Okay. I'm hearing you left for a reason. So that's it. All right. You know where, you know where it's going to lead you. You know where your intuition's pulling you and you know that where you was before wasn't, it wasn't good. And that's why you left. Yeah, you're the five of wands. You're you're literally you're at the tunnel. You're right on the other side, about to be on the other side of um coming to a compromise and then ending struggle, ending conflict, and you're gonna reach an agreement with that person, okay? The three of cups, overindulgence, a lot of gossiping, bitchiness, lack of social life. Okay, like don't gossip, okay? Just, if you're hearing somebody gossip, don't chime in. Stop with the overindulgence. Don't be bitchy either. 
Okay, justice. Okay, justice card is karmic justice, consequences, legal disputes, law. Okay, there. The gossiping and the bitchiness is gonna have its consequences. Okay, whoever's doing the gossiping and being bitchy, whether that is at work or in your social life, a friend. But there will be consequences. I'm hearing, I'm seeing some of y'all may be dealing with um, the law, like a legal dispute. Um, with the King of Pentacles, this is the card of like routine, patience. So I'm hearing like keep the patience, stick to your routine. There is going to be some unexpected sources of money or income. Okay, I'm with the judge, with the justice card in the Knight of Pentacles. There may be some type of money coming in because of a legal situation um whether that's like a um child support or a legal like dispute with like get like money coming in like a settlement but there is some money coming into you and I want to just let you know that time does heal all wounds. It will get better. I know that you're a hardworking person and you're reliable. Just keep the patience and stick to your everyday routine, okay? Um, let's fight the insecurity. Do you have no reason to be insecure, okay? I'm just... With this Empress card reverse, she's telling me that you may be struggling with some insecurity, um, a lack of confidence, and it's causing you to like be sta stagnant in your growth. And you may have like a tendency to be slightly overbearing, so um, maybe that's something that you need to watch out for. Okay, like let's ask for let's ask spirit for some advice. Let's get all of these cards out the way. We know what's going on. We know what was in the past, what's in the present. We know what's coming to, like in the future for us. So let's go ahead and ask spirit for um some advice. What advice spirit do you have for us regarding the situation we are dealing with? What advice do you have for for us? Okay. This is the emperor. You are protected. Okay. And you have, you can create the stability and structure that you really desire. Okay. I'm hearing that from this emperor. Um, some of you may be dealing with an older man that is dependable, some type of father figure. With the death card. Okay, a spiritual transformation. We're at a new beginning, right? Remember at the beginning of the reading, we was talking about you're at a new beginning. You, you, it's time to let go of what no longer serves you. It, things are ending and changing and it's time to um, get control over one your we talked about your spending we talked about we talked about gossiping we talked about the overindulgence it's time to control yourself with those things that is your advice from spirit because this is a time of spiritual transformation you're at a new beginning it's time to let go that's what the Emperor and the um, Death card is telling me right now. That is our advice from Spirit regarding this situation. And with the Seven of Pentacles underneath, <clears throat> things are coming to things are coming to um fruition you are um manifesting you are about to reap the rewards that you have been working so hard i know that you're you've been going through so much with this spiritual transformation learning about everything about yourself just it's been you're just been transforming so much spiritually okay and it's just those things that are the last bit of straws to like grab, to pull together. You know, the overindulgence, the gossiping, and the spending just, just.
Just could, could get control of it, okay? We know what the future wants to bring. We know that the rewards on the other side are just right there. Okay, Spirit, I want a few Oracle cards for us. Anything that needs to be said, what anything we need to be worked on, what Oracle cards do you have for us to clarify this reading? Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Please clarify this reading with these oracle cards. Okay, that was a shit ton. Okay, let's see. I have the strength card. See, we pulled the strength card earlier. You have the bravery, the courage, the confidence to get to where you desire. Okay. Um, with the weeping willow, it says find sanctuary within turbulence. So, you know, it is... We are struggling right now financially, dealing with a lot of financial stress, but just find the sanctuary within, okay? Within all the chaos. We did pull the Four Swords card earlier, and that was talking about how we need to rest and get some relaxation, and it's a time to just be alone and find a sanctuary. And this card is telling us we need to find the sanctuary, the sanctuary within all the chaos, okay? You have the strength. To find it, it's within you. Okay, Aquarius, you may be dealing with um, an Aquarius sign. You may be an Aquarius. Um, you may be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or um, Venus sign. So you, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, or you are one. Here with the Hierophant, um, I'm hearing traditional values. Look how pretty this card is. Traditional values. Um, you already know. You, you Your intuition already has been so heightened that you already are aware of this. You know and you already know that this is already going on. And amethyst, intuition. See, we've been talking about our intuition. Trust your intuition, okay? And right here with the Aquarius card, amethyst is the birthstone of an Aquarius, okay? So I'm really feeling like um, the ones that are watching right now have a heavy Aquarius placement. Um, I'm here and work with amethyst. It will heighten your intuition, okay? And... Amethyst is a great stone to work with to um, help with fear and anxiety. Okay, so this came out for a reason. Um, look how beautiful this card is. <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, work with Amethyst. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Um, this is the mid mid March 2023 reading. Um, thank you for joining me and I hope this reading has helped. I would love for you to leave your comments below, um, and hit like on the channel as well. So thanks for joining. Bye y'all.